Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please consider clicking subscribe and also click that little bell notification icon uh, so you'll be notified when I upload new content. Once again, all of my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you very much for being here. So what we're going to talk about tonight is we talked about the $600,000 ransom that was paid. We've talked about some prevention, but one thing that kind of, uh, kind of struck me funny was that there was a follow-up article for another municipality in Florida that uh, paid the ransom. They paid, it was a $400,000 or $500,000 ransom. Uh, and, and maybe it was Lake City. Anyway, one of them said now they're going to have a $60,000 a year cloud backup service. And it doesn't matter whether you pay $6 a year, $60,000 a year, $600,000 a year, or $6 million a year for your cloud backup. Cloud backup. If you don't know what you're doing with a backup, it doesn't matter. You might as well just throw your money out the window. So what I want to do is I want this to be an interactive video. I want you to uh, go to my website, um, which is willyhow.com. So we'll put that up here. Okay, there's a contact form on there. I want you to fill that out, and I want you to put how you would spend $60,000 on a on a backup solution. We're gonna go over that here. Uh, I'm gonna call this video the $60,000 uh, backup solution. And I didn't spend a whole lot of time, maybe an hour, hour and a half, thinking about how I would uh, do this or how I could use $60,000 to do backups. Now they're spending $60,000 a year. I'm gonna spend $60,000 over five years right? So they're going to spend $300,000. I'm going to spend $60,000. I'm going to be probably in better shape than they are. So we really need to have uh, this talk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, anybody who submits a uh, $60,000 backup case over here, we're going to do a follow-up video where everybody uh, lists their, you know, I'm going to list out everybody's $60,000 backup video. And then will vote and uh, Rio link sent me two of these cameras the uh, winner whoever uh, has the best or at least the uh, crowd favorite of the uh, $60,000 backups will get one of these Rio link cameras for free this is a uh, pan tilt zoom I think it's five megapixel it's the c2 pro there's gonna be a video coming on this but uh, I've got two of those and we're gonna give one of them away, so whoever wins this $60,000 backup challenge will get a free camera compliments of Reolink. All right, so $60,000 is a lot of money. And so I started thinking, okay, if I was gonna spend this kind of money, um, and, I, and I shouldn't, so my backup solution over five years, I need to, to back up a little bit, um, is, it's still considerably less, but here, here is what I did. First thing I did was I talked to a company called Indie Colo, and a guy that I know named Justin Wilson, he uh, runs Indie Colo. So he's got a, he rents space inside of another, uh, you know, bigger data center. He has his own cages and he sells um, bandwidth and space and power and air conditioning one U at a time. So the first thing I thought is, okay, if I'm going to do this and I'm going to have a cloud backup, what am I going to do? I'm going to want to get it off site. Well, if I send it to one location, why not send it to multiple? So I reached out to Justin and what I did for future proofing this in case I wanted to spend more money in the future was I asked Justin, what can I get six U's of space for in the data centers and with a hundred meg uh, traffic or 100 meg bandwidth to them with one static IP and so what I get I'm gonna write this down here so we get uh, six U's in Chicago and we get six U's in Indianapolis and six U's in Chicago 
it's $150 per U per month. So it'd be $900 a month in Chicago. And it's $85 a U per month in Indy. So it'd be $510 a month. And so if you math these out, my total yearly cost for this, uh, for my offsite, $16,920 a year. That gets me 100 megabits between the sites. And then it also gets me 100 megabit cross connect between the two. And so what that means is that means I actually have a 100 megabit uh, connection in my cabinets uh, directly between these sites. So I'm not fighting. So I have a direct 100 megabit connection between my two data centers. So now what I need to do is I need to populate, I need to populate this. So here's our first number. So that is going to be uh, $16,920 a year. Okay. That's, I mean, I have to have to pay that if I'm going to have my backup in multiple geographic places. Now you could easily strike, you know, Chicago. This is a total redundancy of Indy, but if you want to make sure that, that you've got it and you're spending, you know, you got to spend $60,000 a year cause it's burning a hole in your pocket. I mean, let's, let's take this over the top. I want to see some really extravagant stuff come through the, uh, um, through the contact form. I really think that this could be a fun exercise for all of us and we can all learn a lot of things here. So this is our first cost that I came up with. All right. So now we need hardware and you know that I love Synology. So what I did was uh, went out and I looked at what Synology's kind of got and I settled on the, let's see here, it's a 12 bay Synology. Synology 12 bay. And it is the RS 18. 017 uh, XS plus and with this out of the box you get 16 gigs of RAM and it's a DDR4 ECC I know with this handwriting I should have been a doctor it's got uh, Intel Xeon it's got uh, dual 10 gig NICs and then it has four 1 gig NICs. Uh, it's got dual power supplies. It's got a five year warranty. So you'll notice that I'm going to play a lot with five years as our uh, numbers. And then um, it's got next business day uh, replacement, advanced replacement. So you get all that <clears throat> and the base unit looks like it was coming in at about 6,518. And I am going to buy three of these because I'm going to have, I'm going to have one on site. I'm going to have one in Indianapolis and I'm going to have one in Chicago. So I need three of these. So that cost is, I believe that's uh, $19,550. Uh, and then the rail kits. So the rail kit is extra and the, uh, the rail kit uh, is $100. So that's 300 bucks for rails. So $300 for rails. Now we need some actual storage medium, right? So let's uh, somebody check, check my math. I'm going to go back and redo it, but I should be, I should be approximately 
uh, close here. By the way, I did leave an Amazon link uh, down in the description to this uh, Synology 18017XS Plus in case you want to check it out. Um, you can check it out there. All right, so we've got three costs there. Um, 65, 18, that, that's approximately 19, 5, 5, 4. I did that math late at night, but let's, uh, let's double check it. Get a little calculator out here. So we're going to do, uh, 65, 18 times 3, 19, 5, 54. So the math the math was right there. All right, so we're gonna get rid of that. Now, this uh, that has 12 bays, but I want uh, two drives to be redundant. If I'm gonna use Synology, I'm gonna use Synology Hybrid um, RAID 2, I, I may as well. That means I can lose two disks. So it's the equivalency, it's the equivalent of uh, RAID, RAID 6. And the drives that I'm gonna populate uh, this with is going to be the Seagate, uh, the Exos, pretty sure that's how you do it, you say it, 12 terabyte uh, drives, and they have a five year warranty and 128 mega cache, and they are SATA. And they are the six the six gig uh, six gig SATA. So total. Uh, oh, and this drive is three hundred and thirty four dollars a piece at the time I looked this up. So I'm going to need thirty two of those. I'm sorry. I'm going to need thirty six of those. And. Let's see what that total comes out to. It should come out to like 12,024, something like that. Let's double check the math on that. You know how it is. You get uh, you get on a you get on a tirade about something and then uh, so uh, 334 times 36 12,024. So that is the cost for our drives. Now you could say uh, that you wanted to keep some drives um, on site and you could definitely do that, but you can lose two drives and these uh, Seagate has the replacement uh, program for this. So this is our Synology. These are the rails. And then the drives. Let's see here. Uh, 12,024. By the way, since you since you can lose two drives, basically the way that this math is going to work, there's 12 drive bays. And so you can you give up two two disks. So we take uh, basically 10 times 12 equals 120 terabytes of storage per Synology unit. Now, the Synology units, um, let me move this here. I'll also put a, a link to these uh, drives down in the description. So that's our drives. Now, one thing I should mention is that if we need to go past 120 terabytes, that the Synologies, the Synology will scale up to 180 drives so you can hook these units together and have up to 180 drives 180 12 terabyte drives that's a lot of storage um, i think it's over a petabyte i think if you do the math so we take uh we take all of this into consideration and synology does have a firewall built in so you can uh use the built-in firewall or we could drop a firewall in front of it so let's just say I mean, we've got we've got 100 meg connections, right? And at the home site, maybe we don't even have 100 meg, so it really doesn't matter. And we're gonna have a firewall there anyway. 
I mean, you've, we're going to have so much money left over the first year that we can do some serious upgrades. But let's just say that we want to put a hard router. Well, we have we bought six U's in the data center, so it's not going to cost us anymore. So we could put um, we could put like an edge router four in. And let's just say, uh, you know, for the edge router four, let's even be, we'll say, uh, we'll say it's it's a bad day. And uh, we paid uh, four hundred dollars a piece, so eight hundred dollars are the edge routers. I don't think that that's going to happen unless there's a severe shortage. But let's put it over here, uh, just in case. So our and remember, at any time we can upgrade this. We've the synologies are expandable. We've got six U's in each of the data centers, you know. So let's. Um, Let's see what the math is going to cost us, and we'll even take the cost, or let's see what our total is going to be for the first year, and then we'll also extrapolate the cost of the data center. So I'm going to add all these numbers up here. So we're going to do uh, first year with our colo service at 16,920. We are going to do the Synologies at 19. 554. We're going to do the rails at 300. We're going to do the drives at 12,024. And we're going to do routers at 800. That puts our grand total for year one. So first year uh, equals uh, 49,000. 49,000. 598 okay and if you don't need three Synology units that's going to come down considerably so then if you take years uh, two through five so that's an additional um, so that's going to be 16,920 times four additional years that's going to come out to let's clear this uh, 16, 9, 20 times 4, 67, 680. Okay, so that's because that's the only cost that you really have to have unless you're going to outgrow the 120 terabytes. There's, there's a lot of what ifs, and I might be looking at this in a very simplistic uh, way, but if we take 49,000, so if you take your first year and you add your ongoing so this is years two through five in the data center. I mean, what is this? What does this come up to? So total total life of this uh, project. So let's do plus forty nine five ninety eight is one hundred and seventeen thousand one hundred seventeen thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars. Uh, over the five years, which is way less than half uh, if you took their $60,000 a year times uh, five, you get $300,000 over the life. So imagine what we could do if we really wanted to spend that amount of money every year. So and I get that people have to make a living and, and all that, but the, the point is you know, there's some flaws with municipalities and the way that the IT departments run and the way that they have to run. <clears throat> um, it's not like they're the federal government and they can just write checks and throw money everywhere they want. You know, they have to be more responsible than that. So it causes some inherent issues that we'll talk about in another video. But <clears throat> I mean, if you look at this, this is way, way cheaper, and I can even add drives. I could add more chassis. I mean, if I wanted to spend the full 300000 over five years, we could get really intricate. So I really want to hear what you all have to say, what you would do with $60,000 a year for backups. I'm not going to the cloud. I'm not trusting you know, that data. I'm going to build my own cloud, and you can see how to do it right here. You could even put VPN between the data centers. I mean, you've got a 100 megabit connection. So it's really some food for thought and I really want I really want to hear and I want to you know we'll get kind of the the favorites we'll vote on it and the winner will get that camera. So if uh, this video made you think and you like this video please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please 
comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you need IT consulting for things like networking, security, backup, and storage. Go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you would uh, like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. All of our affiliate links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Keep things rolling in. Once again, I am Willie. I want to thank all of you for being here. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.